Welcome to another episode of Behind the Business. My name is Amir Shodi and I'm part of the client affairs team here at the QFC. In this new series, we'll be sitting with some of our QFC firms and getting insider information on their successes and setbacks. Stefan, thank you for being here with us today. Thank and you for having me. You represent Ginger Camel, which is our first media company set up under the QFC. Can you just tell me a bit about yourself and how you ended up here in Qatar? Basically, my wife was offered a job at Al Jazeera English. I've been working for broadcast companies for the last 20 odd years, and I saw it as an opportunity to finish in broadcast and go into something new. I was approached by two editors because I was organizing the Football League, the Squash League, just to bring people together from different departments in a new organization. They said, look, you're a great organizer. We're thinking of setting up a production company. Would you be interested in looking into the ins and outs of what's involved in running a production company here in Canada? So I looked into it for the next three months and then um, found a sponsor and I went back to them and they said, actually, we changed our mind. We don't want to go ahead with it. I thought, oh, great. Thanks. Thanks very much. But then the light bulb went on and basically said, look, why don't you do something similar? You know, operate by yourself to start off with. You've been out there seeing there's potential work and you can match finding the work and then finding the freelancers. So I did that for a year, semi-successful. I got hold of a, a guy that was running a production company and uh, said, look, is there any vacancies? And uh, he said, yeah, come and run my office. And then the rest is history. So I worked for him for about two years and then with a partnership. And then after a year, I set my own company. Ginger Camel. So tell us a bit about Ginger Camel for those who don't know what Ginger Camel is. Well, initially, Ginger Camel was a film production company. So we did corporate films, corporate promos, animation, explainer videos, 2D, 3D animation, commercial photography. And recently, we've gone into marketing. And for the last four years, we're also doing podcasts. What's, I've always wanted to ask you this. What's behind the name Ginger Camel? Why this name? Because I set the company up here in Qatar, I wanted something that represented that it was a local company. So the Camel. Oryx had been overused all over the place. Yes. So I went for the camel. I wanted the camel to come alive. And when we put ginger in front of the camel, it just gave it an essence of what the company was about. It had a cheeky kind of connotation to it. And also took my son's a ginger hair. So that's what <laughs> it's the a very ginger... personal touch. Absolutely. It's beautiful. I never knew that. Okay. So when did you decide to come under the QFC and why? We've been uh, with a local sponsor or management company for the last five years. A lot of my outgoings was for a lot of the PRO services that they, they did. So I was looking for an alternative. And when I heard that QFC were offering yeah, 100% ownership, it was like, it was a no-brainer for me. You know, and also when you looked at the costs that I could save, then it was just like, yes. From the immigration side, do you think it was worth it? Oh, absolutely, for sure. Not that I have to deal with the whole immigration side, but I have a couple of times been to the second floor, but just turning up to the second floor and it, it's like a travel agent. You, you basically, you have your desk and I don't know if you take a ticket or you just, uh, you know, first come, first serve and uh, you're sorted out and it's easy. You've been in Qatar for a while and you've definitely kind of seen the company go through ups and downs. How has the QFC helped? What can we do better? I have always felt that they've been there for me. If there's any issue that we have with any of the ministries, it's never been an issue for you guys to go, okay, give us the information and we, we'll get in contact with the various ministries and see if we can help. So what advice, Stefan, would you give companies opening up or setting up their company? Well, it is basically do your market research, yeah. see who your potential clients are, make sure you know you do a lot of legwork before you know you go down that road yes. of uh, setting up a company because it's a lot of expense yes. uh, initially. It's it's all about relations, yeah. relationships, and making sure that you know you've got a good portfolio that is local. Now that people know our name and know the quality, and people are referring us all the time, so yeah. it's. It's a nice feeling, but it, it takes a long time. Yeah. Any major or future projects you're working on right now that you can share with us? <laughs> <laughs> I had a gut feeling that this summer would be busier than any of the other summers, just because of the blockade and the finish of the World Cup and the yes. that now on Qatar. And we felt it. We have put so many proposals out there during the summer and we have been busy with shooting. And it feels like everyone's getting ready for September. Normally, yes, it was yes. everyone got back and then they were getting ready and October. kicking off for October. Yes. But it's a lot earlier this time. 
good sign. Yeah, it's a very good sign. Yeah. But with regards to projects, I can't tell. <laughs> we will find out eventually. Absolutely, you'll see, you'll see on our screen. Great, so yeah. um, thank you for your time today. Hey, thanks for thank having me. Thank you for being here. And uh, we look forward to your secret projects. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.